<laughs> John, thank you very much about this interview. You are going to fight Canelo Alvarez in Mexico. It's a big opportunity for you. Yeah, I mean, it feels like probably the worst kept secret. Um, I feel like it's been on everyone's lips for a while, but it's been uh, yet taken so long to be announced. But I'm glad to finally be here in, I don't want to murder Guadalajara to announce. And um, yeah, really get my really get camp underway. Um, we were training hard, but now we, we level up for, for May 6. We talked each other a very few months away when you uh, for the fight of Zach Pac Parker. Yeah. And you were talking about Canelo and the wishes to fight him because he's the biggest challenge of your career. Now, how it feels? Well, it's, listen, I think um, everything in boxing happens for a reason. The fight with Zach Parker was a good step in the right direction and uh, I come away from that victorious and this is what happens, this is what comes next. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true, but I have all the respect for Canelo, but come May 6th, I'm in there to do a job. How does it feel to be here in Guadalajara? It's great. It's one of them, I've dreamt about this moment for, for years, not necessarily being in Guadalajara, but being on this stage against the the, the best in the division. So I'm, I'm fully focused on, on this fight and uh, I really want to create a statement. Now that you are the next rival of Canelo, your mindset change? Um, I feel, it's a strange one. I feel like since the Canelo Smith fight, my, my mind has always been on Canelo. Um, I still believe I won that fight against Canelo Smith and I, I should have already been a world champion. But everything in life happens for a reason. So I didn't I didn't be victorious that night, but it's led me to here, to, to now. So um, I'm glad. I mean, I could have fought Canelo in, in COVID times, in a small arena, behind closed doors maybe, but... Now I get to do it in his hometown in front of potentially 50,000 fans, which is fantastic. What do you think about Canelo Alvarez as a boxer? Um, his career speaks for itself. I mean, he's, um, like I say, he's, he's joined a long long line of, of, of great Mexican champions, um, legends even, and he, he's made his own, he's, he's, he's paved his own way for that. So, I mean, I've, I've been a fan first and foremost for some years and like, it's not going to be hard to study for this fight. So, um, I've watched most of Sal's fights throughout the years, so um, I've, I've seen a lot already. So uh, to, to, to go over it again is not going to be hard for me. But I, I look forward to really sitting down with my coaches and, and going over things and, and working out a game plan for, for May 6. What you are going to do to, as a game plan? Are you going to plan to, to come here to America to train or what are your expectations? Uh, we will, the majority of the time in London, then we will transition to the US and then um, I, I, I quite like it here in Guadalajara. So maybe we'll come here even sooner and, and get used to the heat. I mean, it's, it's very warm today and I'm sure come May it will be even warmer. So um, yeah, we need to put the sunblock on and get a bit of a tan so we don't get burnt out there. Your journey to came here to this to be the rival of Canelo, it's been a very long one, a very difficult one. Yeah, it has. I mean, it's um, it's been no straight roads. It's all been curves in the road and roadblocks and whatnot. But um, the vision always sometimes differed, but um, the the heart remained and the, the mind stayed strong, and finally got myself to where I believed I could be. How do you feel the pressure to have the four belts in, 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 in? I, I don't feel the pressure on me. I feel it's on Sal. Um, he's coming off a, a not very good year, coming back off, off injury um, in front of his home fans, first time in 12 years. So, um, and, and obviously the 200 years anniversary for Mexico. So, uh, yeah, the pressure's on him. And what do you need to do to beat Canelo Alvarez? Uh, I need to <laughs> hit him more than he hits me and harder. Now, um, I think we know what Canelo's strengths are, so it's, it's all about working on his weaknesses. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, as you can, as you would expect, but I believe that I've got the team around me, the, in the trainer Tony Sims, who's great with work game plans and, and really knows, and the assistance of Kevin Mitchell as well. They really know how to read a fight and, and pick out the bones and really make good game plans to, to beat fighters. So I will listen to the team, I'll study myself, and we'll see come May 6. What are the biggest flaws of Canelo? If you're already somewhere. I'm not going to point them out. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, no, listen, he does he does a lot of things fantastic. Um, and he is, a, he is a great fighter. But I just believe timing is everything in this game. And I feel the time is right for me now. Eddie, you are also a Mexican, a professional Mexican. I know. I must learn Spanish. You know, I understand Spanish now. 
but I can't speak it, so I'm sorry. But uh, very excited to be here. Obviously, we were in Culiacan last week, then went home for a show, and now back in Guadalajara. So it's amazing, you know. Um, this is my sixth fight promoting Saul, and we, we've always spoken about Mexico, you know. And I said, one day it'll be it'll be unbelievable, amazing. And um, he made it happen because we know the money's less, but he said, no, this is the time, and it's going to be amazing on May 6th. One year ago, we, are as, we spoke about Canelo fighting in Mexico and lost the 50% of his purse. Now it's a reality yeah. and with a British guy as a rival. Yeah, and a good fighter. You know, a lot of people felt that John Ryder beat Callum Smith in his hometown. But he came back, he beat Danny Jacobs, he beat Zach Park. He's a mandatory. He's very tough. And um, it's a good fight for Sal to come back, obviously, from the injury as well. And John Ryder has a big heart. He'll give a great fight on Cinco de Mayo. John Ryder has a Cinderella story. Yeah. Just a he does because he's never given up. And I've always told him, if you keep winning, you'll get your big chance. But sometimes it never happens. And it's just, you know, if he would have beaten Callum Smith, he would have got this fight two years ago. But now he gets it now and uh, he gets it in front of 50,000 people. John Ryder Canelo Alvarez is the worst kept secret yeah 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 but it took a long time because the problem was we kept getting offers from around the world to stage the fight and the money was very different you know like i would go back and say eddie look we have this offer here or we got this offer in mexico no no mexico i'm like oh then i'd go back to the people and say sorry we're going to mexico okay wait Here's a new offer, and he's like, oh, you know, and but it was really Eddie, Eddie and Saul. They just said no, like stop. This is where we're going, and you know, they, they obviously have a lot of support from the government here and, and Jalisco, which is very important to making the event happen. But it helps you, right, to increase Canelo Alvarez history to get oh, to, yeah, to bring yeah, it listen, up. Money, money, yeah, money, oh, money is. You know, we, of course it's important, but memories and pictures and videos, like, you know, when Saul was speaking there, I, he was looking at his family and I was thinking, how amazing to bring a fight back to his hometown. You know, that, that no one can ever take that away from you. And you could tell, for all his achievements, what that actually means to him. So I think that this is more about making sure before he retires, He's still hopefully a long way away. He was able to come back and fight in his hometown and, and this is very important to him. What is your main goal in this fight? To have a, a stadium full of people yeah. or to recover a little bit in the in the gate? No, I think the gate the gate is what the gate's gonna be. You know, everyone knows the money before they start, really. You have the pay-per-view of course on the zone. Um, but really this fight is about a great fight you know John Ryder's my friend I've, I've promoted him for 10 years more Sal has become my friend this is about sitting back and just watching like I mean when we did Dallas Cowboys we had 74,000 people there but it was still in Dallas this is 50,000 in Guadalajara it's going to be wild you know and uh, very lucky to be a part of it you're talking about to be friend of Ryder how do you feel to fight against Canelo yeah. again always you know every time there's a Brit it's like but good luck may the best man win and now Tyson Fury music it's the 70 30 what is your opinion about that very fight? surprised uh, I'm, I don't think it will happen April 29 but I hope it does I do think it will happen but um, good luck to both I hope the fight ha happens we have Hergovic, he's the mandatory for Usyk and, you know, Dubois and Joyce. And, but Joshua fights in two and a half weeks. That's all I care about. So April 1st, Joshua against Franklin. What is your opinion about Joshua? Now, I what think, about his mindset? You know, he's, uh, he's in a, a, a tough fight against Franklin. He's trained very hard. And um, I believe you're going to see the best Anthony Joshua on April the 1st. All right.